Vive la différence. Ten biblical truths about gender and sexuality. One. In the beginning, God created humans, male and female. God created man in his own image. In the image of God he created him. Male and female he created them. And God blessed them. And God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply. 2. From the beginning, God decreed that men should marry women. Therefore a man shall leave his father and his mother and hold fast to his wife, and they shall become one flesh. 3. The law of God forbids adultery. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. 4. God detests men or women cross-dressing. A woman shall not wear a man's garment, nor shall a man put on a woman's cloak. For whoever does these things is an abomination to the Lord your God. 5. God forbids bestiality. You shall not lie with any animal, and so make yourself unclean with it, neither shall any woman give herself to an animal, to lie with it. It is perversion. 6. God condemns those who practice homosexuality. If a man lies with a male as with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death, their blood is upon them. 7. Nevertheless, God will forgive every kind of sexual sin. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins, and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. 8. God radically changes those who abandon sexual sin. The sexually immoral, idolaters, adulterers, men who practice homosexuality, such were some of you. But you were washed, you were sanctified you were justified, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, and by the Spirit of our God. 9. The Holy Spirit of God grants self-control to those who trust Him. The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. And those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh, with its passions and desires. 10. Thus every man and woman learns to give thanks to God for their gender and their sexuality. Sexual immorality and all impurity, or covetousness, must not even be named among you, as is proper among saints, but instead let there be thanksgiving. 